Now, in just a moment, we'll be live at Battersea Dogs and Cats Home ahead of the final series of the late Paul O'Grady's For the Love of Dogs, which airs tonight. And we can join Battersea Dogs Home Veterinary Director Sean Operman, who, of course, worked with Paul O'Grady for the very first episode back in 2012. Uh, good morning, Sean. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. An emotional evening, I'm guessing, watching the programme tonight. Um, Paul was such a remarkable, passionate ambassador and a very good friend to you and indeed all of the staff at Battersea. Oh, look, he, he worked at Battersea. He was with us. He was just his presence, Paul, wasn't he, for nearly 10 years at Battersea. And the way the programme's made, he's there for nearly six months of the year. So we got to know him really well. And during that time, he was just a tireless ambassador, not just for Battersea, but for, for rescue dogs in general. And uh, he was also uh, just such fun to work with. Uh, I mean, working with animals can be quite chaotic. Um, but one of Paul's real strengths was that he could just put people at their ease. So everyone's always very comfortable filming. But by the same token, things were quite raucous. I think anyone who knows Paul would, 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 would acknowledge that probably half of what we filmed was, was unbroadcastable. <laughs> I would never see the light of day. And I was just coming in this morning and reminded of a dog, a bulldog we were filming in the last series. And I, we were just checking it over. We were sat on the floor of the kennel, as we often were. I think we were doing a wound check. And this dog had come into the kennel. It's quite a big bulldog and excitable. I don't think he'd had his walk this morning. And um, if I'd say he was actually quite amorous mood. And he'd taken something of a shine <laughs> to Paul in, a, in an inappropriate way, can I say. <laughs> and we spent the next 10 minutes, this dog literally pulled Paul from one side of the kennel to the other and back again. And at the end of 10 minutes, he was just covered in fur and drool. And he was never happier. But um, at the end of that, we actually realised we'd, we'd be filming the wrong dog. And uh, who knew we actually had two bulldogs in the kennels that morning. And so I actually felt quite bad about this because the other dog was a, a female and I should have noticed. But I think I was laughing too much. And I think it's just, just lots of little memories like that. And uh, Paul's laughter, just hearing now and seeing that clip, um, just reminds me how much fun it was working with Paul and we're just going to miss him so much here. Oh, no, of course you are. And a tribute fund in memory of Paul um, for Battersea has been set up. Over £260,000 raised already, Sean. That is the power of his legacy. It's been incredible. We've been absolutely overwhelmed by the amount of support and sympathy that's come into Battersea. Um, I mean, the money, of course, but just but flowers and cards and photographs and poems and paintings. It really, um, it's really sinking in how much Paul meant uh, to everyone. And, and, and goodness me, what a, what a legacy. And of course, over the coming weeks and months, we'll be working uh, out a really suitable and fitting tribute in a way to spend that money on the care of the dogs that Paul loved so much. Sean, thank you very much. You've got beautiful Blake with you there. Give, give Blake a little cuddle from all of us. Yes. And long may his legacy continue and all the great work that happens down there at Battersea. <laughs> Thanks so much, Sean.